I'm missing one. It's not going anywhere. I was invited by Real with Mrs. B and Debt Over It to participate in a collab called Five Silly Money Wasters. Well, I'm all about silly most of the time. I am not about wasting money anymore, so I really had to think on this one. But then I realized, hey, I don't have to use things I do now because we don't have any silly expenses, silly money wasters in our budget right now. I can look back on my life and pick five things that I used to do. The first silly money waster would be landscaping a yard in a house that I did not own. For example, in our last house that we lived in in Mexico, I actually um, re-landscaped the entire backyard. When we got there, there were like these three sad little rose bushes and I actually took them up. I saved everything in case the owner wanted, wanted it put back the way it was, but I justified it saying it was a happiness factor that I was gonna spend a lot of time in the yard and I like to garden, so having a pretty yard would make me happy. Yeah, a pretty yard made me broke. Actually, it wasn't the yard that made me broke. It was just my life in general. Um, so we spent probably, if I had to do the math, probably about $1,000 redoing the yard, which considering the amount of landscaping we did, and we did it all ourselves, it was pretty cheap. And of course the landlord loved it because I converted it into like a low maintenance yard. So you didn't have to water it all the time or anything like that. It was actually super cool. It was uh, volcanic rock and um, succulents and things like that. It looked really awesome. I was really pleased with it by the time it was done. But um, we ended up leaving it and we put new flagstone path down to the patio and uh, yeah. So our landlord loved us because we spent lots and lots and lots of money on a yard that we didn't own. Number two. So I've mentioned in the past that I like to throw parties and when I throw a party, it gets kind of out of control. It doesn't matter if I'm gonna have five people or 50 people, for whatever reason, I think it's the Southern in me. I like to have a lot of food and I wanna make sure that apparently everybody can leave the party with food and feed themselves for the next like four or five days. So I make these spreads and then we always buy alcohol and Mauricio's big thing is like a fully stocked bar. And so when we have a party, we have every possible kind of drink from non-alcoholic for the kids. Cause most of our priorities do include children, um, non-alcoholic for the kids and various types, you know, in case kids have allergies or food preferences and then sodas for the non, non-alcoholic beverage drinkers, and then wine for the wine drinkers, beer for the beer drinkers, and then hard liquor, and all of the fixings for mixed drinks. Seriously, you should come to my parties because they're kind of off the wall, out of control, but they're fun. But, but I don't think we've ever had a party that cost under like $900, ever. Number three, Christmas. It isn't that, the gift giving is out of control because we've kind of reined the gift giving in over the past like five or six years because it was out of control in the beginning, but now it's really starting to get under control. It's decorating for Christmas. We have three, one, two, three Christmas trees that we decorate because you know, you have to have Melina's Christmas tree, which has like butterflies and sparkles and it's white with, oh, it's so pretty. Mauricio's tree, which is the Saints LSU tree, because we're all about football in our house. Okay, Mauricio's all about football. I could care less about football, but don't ever tell him that. I love football. Go sports team. And then we have my tree, which I've had for pretty much my entire adult life. It's just grown. And it's like the beautiful Waterford ornaments and it's gold and silver and sparkly and it's so lovely. We also have a village. It's a Dickens village, but it's not a normal Dickens village with like two houses. It's probably pretty close to 10 feet by 15 feet solid with a train and snow and little trees and people and it's kind of out of control. That's Mauricio's thing. We love our Dickens village. We love Christmas. We're a Christmas family. It's all about the Christmas. That's about the, that's more of the Southern coming out in me, I think. 
Who knew I was so Southern? Number four, flowers. While I was living in Bogota, Colombia, I um, would go to the flower market every other weekend and I would literally buy a entire trunk full of flowers and bring them home because you know in Colombia that's where flowers are grown the roses are grown so they're super cheap and I could fill up my trunk for between 25 and 50 dollars and have have flowers in my house for oh, almost two weeks because again it was Colombia so the flowers lasted longer because they had just been cut number five okay this one's a big one for us I've alluded to it in the past um tech gadgets we're a big tech gadget family like we want to have the newest greatest tech gadget the fact that I'm doing this now is actually really killing us because both Mauricio and I want to buy a video camera and we're just I'm just filming on my little GoPro because that's what we have and I said I'm not buying another camera in the past we bought things like a $200 solar charger for you know all kinds of things you know if we have a solar emergency and need to charge our phone which really would have actually come in handy in Baton Rouge when there was a hurricane and I was without power for like five days but you know we have it now so if we're ever in a hurricane in Virginia then and the power goes out for five days we're good we're safe but um, we have the Amazon Fire Stick, which we never use. We use, now we use our Apple TV, we use Netflix, all that, all the time. But Amazon Fire Stick, no, we don't use that. But Mauricio actually recently told me that the new iPhone 7 is coming out. And he was like, just wanted you to know. And my response was, my name is no, my number is no, my sign is no, you need to let it go. Okay, that was my little Megan Trainer impersonation. No, I have gotten so good at saying no. I'm so pleased with myself because before when Mauricio would have said that, I'd have been like, sure, honey, go get it. Here, let, let me pull the check, the money out of the banking account for you. You know, but now, no, it doesn't meet with our goals. Yeah, does he want the new iPhone 7? Sure, will he die without it? Nope, love you, Mauricio, but you're not getting the iPhone 7. So anyway, those are my five silly money wasters. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Tell me some of the things you've wasted money on. And subscribe to my channel if you are new to it. And I hope to see you here again soon. See ya.